Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are doing a pick a card reading using tarot cards and the question we are asking is what is the nature of my transformation? What is the nature of my transformation at present? So um, at the time at which I'm shooting this reading in 2019, uh, we have already been experiencing great energy supporting transformation. And um, we are almost, um, well, we're not at the end of that, but we're almost at the point at which we can start reaping the benefits of that transformation, of that work that we've been doing. And so uh, while this video is timeless, you can access it at any time and it should be relevant to you as it's your intuition that's choosing what's right for you. Um, I'm going to put across this reading here uh, independent of the time that we're in and simply asking what is actually going on? What is the nature of our transformation? Because sometimes you could be feeling uh, all kinds of, you could, could be having all kinds of experiences or feelings and not really understanding what's actually going on. So for those of you who are in that situation and, and would like to shed a bit more light on what's going on in terms of your transformation, your personal transformation, or you can apply to any other form any other part of your life, like specifically in terms of your work life or your love life. And um, let's just see what these cards have to offer us. So we're using tarot cards, as I mentioned, and you have the deck one, deck two, deck three, deck four, and deck five. So go ahead, um, you can uh, directly to your reading, you can access the timestamp at the description box below. I'm going to begin with deck one now. So for those of you who've chosen the first deck here, the question we're asking is, what is it that you need to know right now about your transformation? What is the nature of your transformation at present? So I'm going to give these cards a shuffle. And we have the first card. Well, this is also relevant. And the third. Okay, so what this these cards tell me um, is that you are you at a crossroads where you need to make a decision. And that decision requires a certain degree of ambition. It requires you to be quite forthright in what you're choosing. It also requires you to be quite clear about what it is that you're choosing. And part of what you're choosing or part of what you're trying to resolve has to do with addictions. It has to do with perhaps not spending too much of time on one particular thing. Um, it's about bringing transformation, um, bringing, sorry, um, well, it's bringing transformation, yes, but it's about bringing a sort of balance back into your life. So it's about uh, bringing things into moderation, so to say. And in order to do this, to be able to choose a path, to be able to uh, manage that, that addiction, manage that balance that you're trying to create, and also the, the, the qualities that need to come forth from you is that of um, being forthright, is that of being quite clear about what you want, being determined, uh, going forth uh, uninhibited and, and just be able to, to balance, bring that balance into your life. So if you've been spending too much of time playing video games or you've been spending too much of time fantasizing about somebody or, or wishing or just imagining that you could be with this person or simply daydreaming about something what it is that um or, or you could be actually you know using drugs or some kind of stimulant that's actually uh that you're needing to draw back from well if you've been doing that kind of thing what you need to do is bring it back into balance and they just, they're not saying just give it up altogether they're not they're not saying that uh you should stop doing it altogether but so simply bring it into balance bring it into moderation and uh, bring it into a stage where you actually, where it's being, where it's healthy for you. So they're saying to me, uh, with regard to your transformation at this at this moment, what you need to be doing is is getting on top of your own situation. You know, not necessarily being 
the victim of your circumstance, but being on top of your situation, controlling your life and recognizing that you have the ability here to be able to completely control your life and be the boss of your situation, uh, being the manager of your life and that you actually can bring it under control. You can actually bring this balance. You don't need to give this up. It's not saying to you that what you're doing is wrong necessarily. Uh, it's just saying that what you're doing is not uh, allowing you to have the balance that's naturally occurring in your life, but it's pulling you away from that balance. It's it's, it's drawing you outside of your, your your yourself, and you're losing your your core. You're losing the center. You know, it's like um, the the poem uh, "Things Fall Apart." The center cannot hold. It's like you're being drawn in one particular direction, and what you need to come back is into that rotation around your life and into what's right for you at this moment, to be in orbit in your life in a way that's bringing everything into balance, everything into moderation, and to be able to suit your life really well. So uh, this transformation that you've been uh, going through is all about that. It's about saying, okay, well, you know, if, if it is that you are fantasizing about somebody, it's about saying, well, here is this person that I, I care about or I want to have a relationship with, but uh, am I spending too much of my time thinking about this person or am I spending too much of my energy, uh, you know, preparing for a, a meeting with them or something like this? Or am I, you know, where is it that I'm losing myself in that process? And if it is a particular stimulant that you're using, well, it's about saying, well, at, at which point am I losing myself? At which point am I no longer myself because of the stimulant? And what is it? How much of it can I take? Or what is it that I, how is it that I should be using it so that it's not actually hurting me and it's not actually changing my essence and my core and allowing me to proceed, um, you know, in a more balanced and, and kind of wholesome manner? And so this transformation is asking you once again to be the boss of your life, to be the person in charge of your own um, kind of determination. You know, it's it's you are the determinant of your life and you need to recognize that. You need to recognize this responsibility that you have. And so if you do that and you completely, you, you take on that responsibility, you know, it's like, it's, yes, it's carrying something that's heavy on your shoulders, but what you realize is that you can use this uh, weight, you can modify it, or you can use it to your advantage, and you will have a lot more power once you recognize that and you take advantage of that. Uh, if you take your responsibilities, uh, if you, you face it uh, head on and actually just allow it to become a part of who you are. And uh, what they're showing me here also is that this is intrinsic to you. You know, this power that you have, um, you being the boss of your own life, uh, you being able to take that responsibility, you being able to bring things into moderation here is, is showing me that you, in fact, um, well, it is intrinsic to you. You just need to tap into this part of you and bring this outside of you. Uh, it's not like you need to acquire the skill or you need to train yourself. It's simply something that you need to sculpt from within you. And uh, you don't need to go outside of yourself searching for this, but simply go inward and ask, where is it uh, that I'm losing my balance? And how is it that I can be more wholesome? And so uh, to answer the question of this reading, uh, what is the nature of my transformation? Well, the nature of my transformation is learning how to balance, bring balance and moderation uh, into my life. It's uh, being able to recognize uh, how much of the good I can have and how much of the what is I consider not to be good that I can have and in, in, in what quantities and uh, basically closing in on the essence uh, of oneself. All right. So that is it for those of you who've chosen the first deck here. I hope that's been helpful. And I hope that's resonated with you. If that hasn't resonated with you, then by all means, try another card or try another um, deck uh, rather. And um, if, it's, if it still doesn't resonate with you, then it's probably not for you. All right. Uh, so the question we're asking here for those of you who've chosen this deck is, uh, well, it's the same question across the readings. It's what is the nature of my transformation at present? What is the nature of my transformation? Okay, we have the first card. And this 
one. Oh, there's something else here. I'm feeling that there's another card needed here. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that this, this transformation that is required from you uh, asks you to become completely independent and completely uh, self-serving. It asks you to look out for your what your own needs are, your, your own survival. It asks you to be able to use um, compassion and sensitivity and love for oneself and love for humanity in your path towards that. And it asks you also to, to actually work, move away from being um, subject to things that are not clear. What I mean by that is that um, you might be spending a lot of time with the occult or with things that are, you know, with things like such, such as pick a card readings or speaking to psychics quite often. And what they're saying is that this is, you know, this creates some kind of mirage uh, as to what, you know, rather than actually telling you what your real life is about, and that there's a huge change and transformation coming about. And whereas you may use psychic guidance uh, to help you on your path, it's important not to be uh, dependent on it in any way. And um, that, you know, this whole transformation has really been about bringing you out of a state of um, uh, uh, uncertainty about what it is that you're doing in your life or a kind of a state of li being in limbo, more or less, where things are not really moving forward, but there's a uh, there's almost a chance that things could move forward, but things are not moving forward. And it's, you know, you've been waiting for a long time. There's been a state of limbo, which has been created and uh, a state of, of, you know, it feels like you've been... Um, like uh, on a stationary bicycle, like you've been, you know, you just kind of keep running in the same spot and you're not actually able to run forth. You are not actually able to break forth. And what they're saying right now is that have a bit of patience, have a bit of compassion for your situation. Don't don't um, actually um, allow the frustration that you feel or the impatience that you have to burden you. Simply uh, go within yourself and uh, actually access that part of you which will allow you to to move forth or to it will prepare you uh, for the changes that are coming ahead. So what is the nature of your transformation? What I'm hearing is that you actually are in the process of huge change. You are in the process of being unearthed. You're in the process of creating a new language for your life and you only you can do this and it's important not to be dependent on other people in that process whether it be your relationships whether it be your um your love partner whether it be family uh, or something like this it's important to take your own life into consideration right now and to be able to move ahead knowing that you are making those decisions for yourself and this transformation that you're going through right now is asking you well can I do that can I actually tap into that part of me which can care about me be independent of others and what others have forecasted for me or suggest to me and create my own reality amidst being uprooted amidst being um kind of at odds with oneself, at odds with the universe, at odds with all that is around you right now. And, you know, do you have the strength that's within you? It's almost asking, like, do you have that backbone, but do you have the, the muscles, you know, the, the strength of the muscles in your back to be able to push you ahead? Or are you just going to fall short of your own success and your own transformation? So, you know, a part of this transformation is well, is actually about the whole change and the whole upheaval but the bigger part of it is whether you are able to sail through it whether you're able to support yourself through it and whether you can actually come to a clearer um to your clearer voice to your that part of you which is telling you how to go ahead and what they're saying is that you know disregard 
uh, the inertia that you've experienced in the past, you know, that is behind you right now. And that's actually, you're not going to go, it's not going to, um, you know, hold you back any longer. Be prepared for the huge changes that are coming and and just sail with it and give yourself all the support that you need. Because what you might find is that because you've been in a state of inertia for a while, or because things haven't been moving the way that you wanted to, you haven't felt really supported by the universe, you might find that you lack faith in the process, or you might find that you're just a bit, um, you're not trained, you know, to be able to take on these new challenges, whether it mean you mean, I mean that quite physically, or whether it I mean that in an in a emotional context or just in having mental strength and discipline to be able to push forth in this next uh, situation. It's, the other message I'm hearing here is that this whole transformation for you uh, has, has really been about hearing your own voice and becoming clear with yourself, you know, as I mentioned already, but also just becoming independent of others and what their influences are. It's about being able to recognize your own strength, but not in the, in the way that, you know, you are um, really outwardly strong. Or, or like, it's not a masculine a strength or aggression or anything like this. It's more a sense of being able to understand your strength through, through your simplicity and through your ability to be soft and to be, you know, to understand. It's almost like a feminine, uh, the a feminine underbelly of strength. And uh, being able to to um, use that to your to your benefit, and you know this applies to you if you're a man or a woman listening to this reading. It's about being able to access your strength through the sim simple things, through uh, the simple values that you hold dear to you, that you're able to practice and use in your life, and using that to guide you, using that as your inner compass to show you how to navigate the turbulence um, that is in your life or that you might have recently experienced or that you are about to experience. And this is not a predictive reading as such. We're talking about the nature of your transformation here and the nature of your transformation here has to do with using that inner uh, strength and this, this feminine uh, strength to be able to navigate through the turbulence and the difficulties. This is not predicting turbulence and difficulty for you. And, you know, um, this this turbulence and difficulty may have a kind of range, you know, whereas it might mean that you simply, one person may simply need to move house um, due to choosing to move house. Um, it might Whereas in another person's situation, you might find that you have to move house, right? That's just an example. Whereas most readers would look at this card as something that kind of strikes you. I, I'm seeing this and I'm feeling the energy of this card as as something that you've almost been predicting. It's almost uh, something that you've been working towards or hoping that would happen. But it's coming in an angle at an angle at which is going to be proving challenging for you. And so the, the nature of your transformation is being able to um, balance that you know, while after coming out of this inertia that you've experienced and being, uh, you know, independent in that process, being able to understand your own strengths. So I hope that that has been useful and that has answered your question and um, that has resonated with you. For those of you who've chosen the deck too, if it hasn't, well, then it's probably not to your message. Okay, so I'm wishing you well on your path and let's move on to the third option here. So for those of you who've chosen this option here, we are asking, what is it that you need to hear right now in terms of your transformation? So what is it? What is the nature of your transformation? What is it? What is the nature of your transformation as you experience it at present? Whoops. I'm just going to continue shuffling for a bit because that just didn't feel right. Well, these cards seem to be wanting to flip out. This still doesn't feel right to me, so I'm going to put it back in. Okay, this feels right. Oh, sorry, it was reversed. Okay, there are two other cards that have flipped out and I'm going to take this one and that and I'm just going to ask for another card. Okay, that's it. 
Okay, so here, uh, what I'm feeling is that part of your transformation as being as having to accept a certain something about your love life, about loving. Okay, it's about understanding, uh, coming to a certain kind of understanding about your love life. So what I'm feeling here is that for some of you in this ta time of transformation, you've had to accept something about your partner, you've had to accept something about somebody you love, or you've had to accept that something, somebody that you that you and somebody that you love hasn't come together. So it's almost like you've been um, searching for something that isn't there. Um, it's it's like there's been this glimmer of of hope and you built it into something that it wasn't. So this your fantasy or your um your hope, your expectation grew from something that was a small glimmer and you were almost searching the darkness for a long long time and it's and you weren't finding anything and it's led to a kind of uh a feeling where uh you you just haven't had this love fulfilled. In the nature of your transformation is having to go through that. You'll be asking questions like, what does love mean to you? Uh, what is what is love? What is the nature of love? How do I love? Those are the kind of questions you would have been confronted with at this at, during this time. And uh, this transformation is about coming to that point where that changes. It's about living that out, no matter how long and dreadful and how um, painful or how how much you might resist that and it's still there as much you know it's about living through those moments and waiting for the clock to tick in a in a way waiting for the hour to pass so it's almost like you are you know if you have to say that from the moment at which you met this person it, you were on the hour and you the whole process this nature of your transformation is that time between that moment that you met that person in your life to the point at which you are no longer thinking about them and then you're on the hour again well i'm feeling like you're at around the 40th minute mark and you've got like another um, painstaking 20 minutes to go through and it's basically it's basically that 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 whole those those 20 minutes that understanding that you're going to come to within yourself um the the understanding of loving oneself and how one one loves and how one has loved and how one ought to love and how one accepts love into one's life all these huge questions is what you would be grappling with it's like this love is not uh actualized it's this you know it's it's an kind of um yeah it's not actualized it doesn't come to bear and your your experience to, until this moment is is about it's about that it's about all these big love questions now I, I'm not doing a reading about love here and um, these are the cards that have come up and so I'm not saying that you and your love will not come together here. I'm just talking about the nature of this transformation. So you might be under the impression that your love is not coming together and this is the process that you're undergoing right now is uh, bringing you a certain transformation and this is not to say that this is the final outcome here you know and i'm not trying to give you hope to say that uh you know you and your partner will come together necessarily but what i want to be clear about is that this is not a love reading i'm not asking whether you and your partner are coming together what we're asking is what is the nature of your transformation and it's showing me that because this love is not actualized at this moment okay that you are going through all these questions and searching for answers and that is part of your transformation and bring when you actually have finished with that when you've gone through that painstaking very slow uh process of uh going over this landscape of love like a tortoise you're going to actually understand um why you've needed to do that and you're going to understand something about yourself and about loving that you have not understood before and this is actually when things change and uh, where you have the, the change it's almost like the clock strikes on the hour and then you're on the new hour and when you're in the new hour it's like this transformation is behind you now and you don't need to work with that anymore it's not something that you need to deal with so for those of you who want who are not in a love situation like this and you wondering what has that got to do with me well i feel here that it still applies in terms of of how you love or what or how you love yourself or how you love members of your family these are things this is questions about love this these are questions about understanding the world in a particular manner 
and actually finding out that it's not it doesn't work like that finding out that love doesn't work like that finding out that relationships don't actually come together in that way finding out the challenges uh, of human relations so to say and so this this reading applies to you in a way in which uh, we are you are asking questions about other about humans and about how you love others how you love yourself how you actually can be yourself and love uh, and love uh, as yourself while also understanding this new reality of love this reality that you haven't understood before and um it's it's like you've needed to uh, create a, a like a, a, a firm line between how you've loved in the past and how you will love in the future and that is you know that has everything to do with your current transformation here and this is the the point of yeah of you know of this experiences that you've been going through this is the point of of why you've been feeling the way you have so that is your um your reading for those of you who've chosen um oops this deck here i hope that message has helped you in some way and has resonated okay so, we so for those of you who've chosen the fourth deck here the question we are asking today is what is the nature of my transformation what is the nature of my transformation So here we have a situation where you are asked to actually um, make some pretty clear decisions in your life, to take a stand in your life, to move away from a space of being in apathy. Um, you might have lost uh, interest in life in the recent years, or you might have been in a state where you were unsure of which direction to take. And perhaps you felt unsupported by the universe or by, by factors around you. And the nature of your transformation has really been um, about you coming out of that state of apathy, about you actually moving your life along. It's like you've been in a car that's been on stilts or just without tires sitting in a, you know, in a scrapyard. And it's about like fixing on those tires, on those wheels onto your car and basically getting yourself back on the road again because somehow along the line you might have lost interest you might not have been as excited as you've been previously you might not have been looking forward to life on a you know as the way in which you did perhaps you've had a mild depression or perhaps you've just been in mourning or you've been um yeah in mourning for somebody that you've lost or in mourning because you perhaps you've lost a job or you've been in a state of dissatisfaction, which can lead you to feeling apathetic at times. And so the transformation here is talking about you actually taking a stand against that apathy. It's about you uh, forging a kind of direction for your life. It's about you cutting away that apathy and being very clear about it, you know, having a good head on your shoulders and, and, and taking charge of your life, but not in a way that's really... Um, you know, very um, passionate in a sense, but being more logical, being more practical. And, and it's about being able to find your way through that, being able to find this uh, practical kind of aspect of yourself where you're saying, okay, well, that's not good for me. And uh, that doesn't really work for me anymore. And how can I go ahead in this moment? So the other thing I'm, I'm hearing here is that you would have needed to become 
uh, to break down the walls around you, to become much more open-minded, to uh, broaden your horizon, so to say, to try things that you haven't tried before, even if it means that you're going off in different directions, which may seem counterproductive, okay? It's about actually going out and exploring. So, you know, the first part of your transformation would have been around actually just cutting away that apathy, working your way, you know, having said, okay, well, that's enough now. I'm not going to be in the state any longer. I'm going to find a way to, to forge a path for me. And then just going out and allowing yourself, giving yourself the freedom to be able to go in every which direction, just to explore who you are or what you are or what you want from life, really, just to get those fires being lit once again. And part of this transformation and part of this process is about learning at which point, you know, once you get on your wheels, once you get out there, uh, using this um, metaphor of the car again, it's about knowing your, your boundaries. It's about not going too fast. You know, it's about taking it easy, not taking on too much. You know, so if you've been, uh, you know, if you if your car's not been operational for a long time, and now you've just, you know, you've put on new uh, wheels on it, and you're about to, or new tires, <laughs> and you're about to actually hit the road again. Well, you know, don't do a ten day long journey on the road, uh, because what you're going to find is that you'll you'll find yourself overburdened and back at the state of apathy that you were at, which you're actually trying to transform yourself out of. So it's about not burning out, not actually. Uh, pushing yourself over the limit, but pushing yourself to the limit. So being able to find that, uh, once again, that balance that we talked about in one of the earlier readings uh, in terms of, of of going forward. And But even though balance is not really the crux of this matter, uh, here it is almost about transitioning from a space of apathy into being alive, being passionate, and being able to be quite grounded and quite rational as you go about that, quite clinical in your way uh, when you make the initial decisions, but then being able to actually access and tap into that passion uh, that you've not actually encountered for a long time, that you've been steering away from, and allowing yourself to develop that aspect of you, but not going overboard with that. So your transformation has been about that. It's about being able to you know, uh, like vault yourself out of the state of apathy into living again, into, you know, just enjoying and living and experiencing. And in doing so, not pushing yourself too far, you know, knowing your limitation, knowing what's good for you, being wholesome in the process, uh, taking good care of yourself, not taking on too much that you cannot uh, um, handle. And even if you can handle it, you know, you might feel like a kind of raging um, energy inside of you just rearing to go. And you might feel, well, I can do this. And you do it, you know, you actually are able to do it. But at what cost are you doing it to yourself? And is that what you've actually set out to do? So those are kind of some of the questions that would have come up during this time of your transformation. Uh, it's about how do I come out of a state of apathy? And when I do, uh, do I give myself the permission to actually explore and to discover new things and to allow myself to experience new things? And having done that, am I able to rein myself back at the moment at which it's necessary to do so? Or am I going to go the whole long haul and actually perhaps pu push myself over the limit? Um, but having said that, I don't see anything negative about you having pushed yourself too far. What I do see, though, is that it's contrary to what you actually desire. So I see, I don't see it being so harmful for you as it being more uh, something that you feel uncomfortable with. It's something that you decide, okay, well, that's not for me. And it might, you know, bring you back almost to a stage of, or into the parameters of this apathy that you experienced before, because you would have taken things a bit too far here. So it's about, you know, it's about bringing, about understanding your range, about seeing how far you can go, about allowing yourself to go further, and uh, about knowing, you know, your boundaries as you go ahead. All right. So that is actually uh, the the nature of the, your transformation at the moment. It's about understanding all of these things. And in a way, it's really about understanding who you are in relation to this world, as opposed to understanding who you are in relation to yourself or understanding who you are in relation to love or into, with regard to your work or your home or your community. This is more about understanding, uh, you know, how you go ahead, 
in relation to the world at large, um, what you're able to take in, what you're able to um, discover, what you are willing to discover. Can you take those uh, blinkers off you and allow yourself to see a bit further than you've allowed yourself to see until now? And perhaps that is going to be the source of a new spark uh, inside of you. And, you know, it's going to resolve this apathy that you might have experienced until now. If that's not really been um, the situation that you've been dealing with here, what I feel is that either way, you are bringing yourself out of one state. You know, uh, if the, if it were that you were uh, more um, uh, cold or more kind of grounded or more um, apprehensive, what you're doing is that you're bringing yourself, the nature of your transformation is bringing yourself into a warmer state or bringing yourself into a more optimistic state or bring, bringing yourself into a more uh, passionate, into a more vivacious uh, state and, and allowing yourself to be able to experience, experience that warmth, almost throwing out so to say, uh, throwing out from a situation that was and warming up and uh, but making sure that you don't get sunburned, you know. So, you know, let me know if that resonates with you and how you feel about it. And I hope that um, has been relevant to you and has helped you in some way. So I'm wishing you all the best. And we are moving on to the next uh, deck of cards here. So for those of you who've uh, come here to ask about what is the nature of your transformation, we're looking at the fifth deck here for today. And the, the question we're asking is, please inform us about the nature of your current transformation. Bring clarity to that uh, for us. So we're going to go ahead and give the cards a shuffle. We have our first card here. Oops, this one's just slid over. Okay, so all these cards are actually reversed here. And um, what I'm seeing here is that there's been a lot of scattered energy in the last while. And actually, your transformation is actually, uh, what it feels as if you are struggling with your transformation. It feels like you may be quite challenged in the circumstance. But, you know, what I'm seeing here is that uh, there's a lot of wasted energy. There's a lot of scattered energy. There's a lot of uh, efforts in uh, directions that, you know, it's like getting things started but not finishing it. It's about, you know, uh, beginning something, going in a particular direction and then being stopped and then turning around, going in another direction. It's about wanting, about having ambition, but an ambition that's unfounded or an ambition that's not uh, uh, pursued with passion or an ambition here that is not grounded in uh in in values and and principles so you know part of this uh this transformation or what you've actually needed to go through what you actually are in the process of going through here because uh, i feel this for you this is very much something that you're experiencing right now um 
what you've what you really needed to do is actually uh you know sit down and make a plan for yourself and decide where it is that you want to go to what is it that's most important to you and how is it that what you're going to be doing is substantiated by what is important to you how do your own values and your own meaning um in this lifetime actually contribute to the things that you will be doing? Is there a relationship between what it is that you want to do or where it is that you're headed to but actually, and who it is that you are? So this, uh, the nature of your transformation is actually about finding, uh, finding a grounding, uh, a root uh, or a kind of, um, of goal for this ambition that you have. Because what I feel here is that there's lots of energy, tons of energy and uh, you know, like requiring support, um, but not actually getting it because there's like a lack of faith in terms of your of, of your direction. So it feels like you know this energy feels like pretty young to me. Uh, and I'm not saying that you are young, but you could it could be like that your ambition is is quite um, it feels quite young. It feels quite inexperienced. There's a feeling of naivety here. And what what the message here is is that this transformation is not about losing your naivety it's not about actually maturing through that because when you mature to, through that there's a certain degree of cynicism that comes along with it and you lose that uh, that that you know firecracker ambition that you have but actually just understanding what is your contribution you know what is it how is it that your contribution impacts others and how is it that you want to go about it uh, now how is it that you're going to do this you know like understanding what it is that you want to do and how it is that you're going to go about doing it and whether it's really relevant to you whether it's actually what you want to do or whether you almost pursuing something because of what it looks like because it might seem that the end goal here is something that you want but in fact it might be that the, the path getting there is not really suited to who you are and and uh, what you want so in terms of this transformation, this, this transformation is asking you to align your goals with who you are and actually allow, asking you to, to uh, you know, kind of streamline your ambition and streamline your energy. And when you do that, you'll be, you'll be able to receive the support that you've been looking for or that you need in order to be successful, in order to actually get to where you needed to go to here. And, you know, it's, it's like, the, what they're saying here is the the cycle is you know is going on. It's un, you can't stop it. You know the transformation is going to take place anyway. The question is, are you on board with this transformation? Are you resisting it, or are you actually getting on board and riding this wave? Uh, because if you do, then you're going to find yourself in a new space. But if you've not learned the lessons that you've needed to learn in this time here, you're going to find yourself in a new space with with much more at your avail but not being able to actually use that to your advantage and so it's it's you know really asking you well right now you know you at a certain space and can you uh, basically just look at your your situation with a slightly more um uh kind of grounded eyes because what what I'm hearing here is this: all this energy is going all over the place, and it's like you know, it's like wasting. It's like throwing away. It's like you've got this limited um, bottle of water, and that's all you have. And it's like you're spreading it all over the place, and you're going to need it later on. And so they're saying, well, if you're going to, you know, you're going to instead of just throwing this water into the ground, like plant a, plant something there, like put a seed in the in the ground, and actually water that plant so you have something a little bit later on so this transformation here the nature of your transformation is almost in a way like asking you to grow up a little bit with regard to your uh to your to your resources as well as to your energy like being able to streamline your energy and use it for something good in the longer term now i'm not saying that like it has very much the feel of you know um like putting away something for the winter or putting away something for your older age. But I'm not saying that that's necessarily what this is uh, saying to you, even though that may be useful. Uh, but I think it, it has the, the energy of that. You know, it's about being wiser, being trying to be a bit wiser, trying to uh, shield yourself from, from troubles that you may find later on and actually asking yourself to, to basically find a, a goal, for 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 what you for your ambition that is actually the 
the the most important thing about your transformation year. It's about finding a goal, working towards something, streamlining, and actually being able to then find yourself in a place where you are supported and where you know where you're headed to and you can reap the, the rewards of having uh, spent this energy. Because the way I see it is that you're going to spend this energy anyway. Um, you you have this energy to spend and it's, it's you know, it's, it's this ambition needs to be founded basically and then it, it can actually serve you. So, there is a very specific message and it speaks quite specifically to a particular type of person and experience that you're having. And I just want to take a moment to see if there's anything else here that uh, that's coming through for somebody else who's not actually going through that but might come to this video. All right, so the other thing I'm hearing here is that it's important uh, to be able to take help, you know, not just that uh, so my previous message was that you might not receive the help that you need because your uh, ideas are not, uh, the, you know, you don't have a proper business plan or you don't have a proper idea of where you're headed to and you're just kind of, you know, uh, wasting this energy. But the other message I'm hearing here uh, is that it's important to receive help. It's important to accept help when you receive it. You don't need to go about this all in your own. You know, it's not uh, something that you actually need to do by yourself. There, there is no point to prove here. You're not going to be proving anything to anyone if you just do this by yourself without the help of other people. It's okay to take the help of other people. And it might mean that you'll need to be vulnerable during that time or it opens you up you know, to being hurt. But what they're saying is that allow that to come through because not only will it be uh, provide you with more resources in order to be able to achieve what, you, what you're what you trying to achieve, but it will enable a whole new dimension of your life to be opened up to you uh, because it's going to bring in kind of heart and soul into what your endeavors are and add to your experience as a human being, as, as a person in this lifetime, because you, you're going to be involving yourself more with people and not just with um, with with kind of what you're headed to or like thoughts or, or goals or, you know, like certain uh, career direction or if it's not a career direction, it's, it might be something that you like you're venturing on, off onto and here, what I'm hearing is that allow people to come in and help you because then you're, it's going to be so much easier, you know, it's almost going to be effortless and you're going to have the whole, you know, the companionship and the support and, and that's worth far more and, you you know, than, than actually just achieving what you want to achieve. And I'm, I'm hearing there that, that what's vital there is going through a process where you are able to receive, you know, and you are able to um to to gain as a result of receiving not just in terms of material way you know material way but simply by having that uh, love and that companionship from others so i hope that has been helpful on some level and i hope that that is um relevant to you and uh, it's it's actually yeah been of some use so i wish you all very well and i'm um wishing you um much luck and uh Good experiences in your transformation may it be easy and effortless. But I'm wishing you all the best and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.